how about a little pinch it and do that and maybe I'll kind of look like I have a background so good morning everybody um, I may be a little over lit that does tend to happen how's that a little better so I have a lap full of makeup here because I look dreadful today and I'm not putting up with it aging is son of a mother and it is <laughs> kind to some people me being one of them and uh, I don't know that I go so far as getting plastic surgery although if I had the money I probably would um, but laying my makeup out here but the least I can do is put a little makeup on makes me a lot happier so I'm glad that you could meet me down here at the coffee shop even though it's raining and uh, go ahead and order what you want and tell them to put it on my tab I love the rain as long as I'm not out in it yeah old co-worker I'm full of beans. As usual, I've got, uh, I decided I really wanted some kind of background something. I've got background sound. Besides my fan, I've got to straighten my leg out. And uh, so I looked up ambient sound on the YouTubes. And there's lots of them. There's rain and stuff. And I do sleep to rain a lot of nights. If it were up to John, we'd sleep with it every night, but I'm usually not quite ready to go to sleep the same time he is, like 9.30. Um, so something like this is really nice. And hopefully I won't get in any copyright trouble with anybody. And it's supposed to be the sound of sitting inside a coffee shop on a rainy day. And it's neat. It is neat and nifty. Um, I've got this in my lap. That is a little propane tank. And I've got these in my other hands. <laughs> and uh, love in my heart for all mankind. I'm getting the hairs off of it. And I'm about to love y'all even more because I'm going to take a, a little toot. Hope that I don't cough myself into a coma because I do still have a little bit of my respiratory crud and hope that I don't uh, cough and fart at the same time because I do that and it makes me very, very nervous to smoke with anybody. I'll put my hair up first. Uh, got to, uh, yeah, let me, let me, zoom out a little bit now I'm gonna teach y'all a neat little trick I may make a whole separate video someday about it I need to trim my bangs this little handmade gizmo right here is gonna save you money it saves me money this is for those of you who dab or uh, even if you vaporize flour or vaporize concentrates, use a vaporizer pen, whatever. This does not work with smoking. Or I don't recommend it with smoking. It, it maybe would work, but I don't recommend it. Um, just with concentrates. Although, you know, it's your life, whatever. See what makes you happy. This is titanium on this end, and the rest of it's just silicone. And it's just basically a straight straw. It's uh, made long enough so that the smoke isn't too hot. It's not as good as a bone, but where it goes through water, but I don't really, really want to mess with that right now. I wish I had gotten a bigger tapestry now that I'm seeing that it's not, like if I was right up against it, it would be fine. 
but there's about a foot and a half between myself and the wall. And I think it could stand to be closer since it's only, it's like five by five, something like that. But what's really neat is I've found places in China, once China is working again, China's so broken right now. It worries me for the people and worries me for the world because everything we have is made there just about. Uh, but yeah, they'll, they'll print them up. Anything you want, photograph you taken. I don't think they're going to be real persnickety with you. Uh, if you get a copyrighted image, I don't know why I haven't tried that yet. Okay, see this? See this? It's already kind of smoking. I'm gonna all this is <coughs> silicone straw any kind of straw will work but I recommend <coughs> using something that you will just wash out and reuse this is a big one whatever you use even if you go to Walmart and buy yourself some shake straws do get the kind that are the large ones the shake straws because if you're using a, a little normal straw like they give you at a sorry at the at a fast food place those will be really hard to draw through when you're well to push through when you're exhaling when you got that stuff in your throat and it's itching you and making you want to cough already you need to be able to get it in that bag quickly this is just a dollar general bag um, I don't recommend Walmart bags because they almost always have some kind of hole in them they're fragile as shit yet they're crispy and hard to contain this one might have a little hole in it I think but when they do I'll just put a little piece of tape on it um, and this has really large capacity I started out using um, donut bags from uh, Casey's General Store here in my neighborhood. See? When you when you vape, but the, the donut bags are really kind of small. When, when you use any kind of concentrates like that, where you're adding heat to them and making them turn into vapor, when you exhale, you are exhaling many doses of medicine. You are exhaling almost a full dab just into the air and there's no reason for it that's so wasteful and y'all know how thrifty I am if you don't know me yet my name is Tushy Galore my real name is Alyssa you may call me by either it's Alyssa as in Melissa without the M and uh, and I just I, I can't stand to waste I'm extremely frugal and uh, so I came up with this and what's cool since my boyfriend John and I share a I want to say germ pool that's not right germ cloud or whatever he calls it uh, you know we lay around and breathe on each other all the time so when we're uh, when we're dabbing together I have him fill the bag when he dabs and then I use that bag. I can do it more slowly and just little bitty little sips, which is great. And that's good for somebody that anybody's got respiratory problems or, or hitting a dab is going to be just too much for them. Blow them a bag. It's milder because, of course, when you do a hit yourself, fresh hit, your body soaks up as much of it as it can. But unlike when you're smoking, it can't get it all. When you exhale smoke, your body has absorbed all the goody out of it, or most of the goody out of it. So what you're exhaling, from what I understand, still has some, some THC in it, still has some goody in it, but just not a lot. Your body gets most of it. The nice thing about the silicone straws, see, I can just put a rubber band around that, or... Uh, here we go. Hair clip. Get them like six for a dollar at Dollar Tree. A ta da. <coughs> so that's pretty cool. 
I think so anyway. So I make my own bags and then John makes me a bag. And because of my disabilities, I am, um, which are nausea and a lot of pain, a lot of screwiness with my um, autoimmune system. I've got lots of autoimmune system disorders and shit. And I don't like to talk about it much because I don't want to be one of those women who does that. Because who the hell cares, really? I mean, you care. I'm sure those of you watching kind of care, but, you know, boring. But, uh, uh, boring, but you need to know these things to better understand me. Understand why some things are a huge challenge. I know my nails get worse and worse, don't they? I keep filing them off because I'm dissatisfied. Now I'm like, do I really want blue nails for the next two weeks? Do I want to just take the last three off and do red with the silver underneath and a little rhinestone? Maybe. We'll see. Or black with red, red glitter underneath. Do that. I haven't done a good black set yet. Um, I forgot to wet my sponge. I was one of those women because I haven't been into makeup in years like really into it into it so I'm like such a virgin I don't know what half the stuff is I just now got my first primer and I think I'm gonna get one in my next ipsy bag which is be here in a week or so I guess but I didn't know and it was soaking up a lot of my makeup I thought this is janky why do people use these and then I, I heard somebody somewhere making fun of women or talking about how cringy it is to see women using these dry. It's like, oh, okay. So I'm looking to see if I have a clean container. I'm so lazy. I'm not gonna get up and go in the other room for that. I have the cats closed out because they're in their morning lunacy. They're beezing. They're beezing all over the little apartment and Two of them are extremely large, muscular fellers, and they are tearing the place up. I'm gonna try my little Dollar Tree Dark Circles and Bags Relief Serum Roll-On stuff again. I see if I get some from the Dollar Tree, I feel like I can apply it liberally and I don't have to worry about running out, cause you know, it's a dollar. Love a dollar tree, love a dollar tree is so much. Dollar tree is life. It's life. Dollar tree is life. It's true. True. I'm not sure where this jazz melody is headed. It's not as easily predictable as pop music, that's for sure. I love jazz. I think anybody that says, oh, I hate jazz, it's just a bunch of noise. They don't even know what they're playing. No, it is not. It is not. Don't be dumb. Jazz is many, many, many different styles. Everything from Big Band to Dixieland to just shit, everything. And you can find within the jazz genre, you can certainly find something you like. Little Ella Fitzgerald, little Billy Holiday. Little nice, I love the uh, piano, bass, and uh, drum, little drum set. I love that combo, that little three-piece combo. But this is, sounds like there's saxophone involved. John used to play the saxophone when he was a young person, and I think he started it in high school. And he also did a, do a little instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment concealer from Maybelline. One of the few Maybelline products recently that I've not been disappointed in. <coughs> but he played played it in the school band, I guess. And, uh, and as an adult, he still played it. And I don't know, he fell on hard times and pawned it and could never get it out of the shop again. And 
to this day, he mourns the loss of that sax. And I wish I could afford to buy him another one. Um, what type did he play? Alto, I think. You know, between these two things, I'm not sure which one is doing it, but I feel like a ting, kind of a little warm, tingly. Something's going on there that's nice. And I'm going to use my dry ass sponge, which needs to be cleaned. Gross. I'll use the cleaner end. Blend this a bit. Man, just getting my dark circles under control helps a lot. And if anybody's watching me live, hello to you. I cannot see. My phone is tiny. And I am uh, nearly blind. So, if you speak to me, I may not see it until after the live stream. Because I found the other day how to go back and read the, read the chat logs. Woot! So I'll have to go back and see what some people said. We had a mystery person here uh, one time recently when John was with me and he was reading the comments for me. <coughs> Somebody named the intruder, I think. Intruder, if you're watching, hi. They have been watching me since the beginning. I don't know if the intruder's male or female. I asked, but I don't think they ever answered. If they did, John didn't see it because he kept getting distracted by a game or something. Um, I'm gonna use some of this Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30, oil-free, moisturizing, natural-looking coverage, matte meets glowy finish for all skin types, even sensitive. Um, and it. Beauty through Asian wisdom. I just noticed it on the back. I've never used a BB cream before until I got this, and I've used it once, I think. It was okay. Um, I'm not, yeah, it goes on about goji berries and crap like that. What I tend to do is I like to put my foundation out on my hand and work with it from there. And I'm going to use my fingers today, again, like a heathen, because I don't want to get up and go wet my sponge. Oh, yeah, I would like to be able to get him saxophone again. He's lost a lot. He's had to move around a lot, had a lot of failed relationships in quick succession. Um, he prefers to be in love and a woman waiting for him when he gets home, I guess. Although he's never said it like that. I'm just, I'm fooling, you know, but he, uh, he's failed and failed and failed until he met me October the 30th, 2016. The day that she'll live in infamy. The evening that she'll live in infamy. He came over, we smoked some weed, and he napped on my couch. <laughs> and nothing has changed since, I'll have you to know. I am looking at myself when I glance at my phone. I am, and you know what? I always have, and I probably always will, because I can't see really exactly where the camera is. Maybe I need to put some white paint around it or something. And it's just a, a more natural, comfortable thing to look at another human being when I speak, rather than looking into the blackness of where I think my lens might be. Need a little bit more. Ooh, plenty. Use this all up in one fell swoop. And honestly, I think most of the makeup I get in here, I'm not going to bother to ever buy it. Because so far, I haven't really gotten anything that I was insane about. I really liked this. I see somebody saying something. Hi to you. Little oh, battery. Oh, shit. I got to plug my phone up. Cords, cords, cords. 
low power mode. I don't know if you guys can still see and hear me, but I got a low power mode warning. Um, yeah, I've liked that blush. I mean, stuff's nice, but mostly it's just get my my collection plumped up. I don't know what happened to my forehead. That's not a pimple. Maybe it was one and I scratched it, but it sometimes I itch all damn day and I scratch myself and I wound myself. That's why I'm supposed to be keeping long, or at least acrylic. They don't have to be long, but keeping acrylics because they're, it makes them so thick, so much thicker than my natural nail that I can't break my skin so easily. There, that's better, right? Got my got my little mirror here. I'm not sure why it's got tape on it. I don't remember. Maybe it fell apart. It must have. I think I need another toque, and I've lost the lid to this. Yeah, I think the intruder. Oh, what have I got on me? Oh Lord, I've, I've got got makeup all over. Did I even do that? Oh, because I still had it on my hand. Damn it! <laughs> Shoot! I don't know where to put it. Where do I need it? My temples. I tend to forget my temples. I have these crazy wrinkle type things on my temples, and I always have. It's like a puckering where I guess they have a tendon or something there that's real short. And that's why my eyebrows are so highly arched because I've got some strange, like if they put Botox in that, I would probably look, look like, I don't know. I just ignore them. They make my eyebrows now nice. My eyebrows. I hear my texts bleeding through. Um, um, I don't know. Let's see. Shall I try some bronzer? That's that maybe blush. See, because of my bangs, using any kind of bronzer seems sort of silly up in here anyway because I can't really see it, but I'll do it for the sake of entertaining myself and whoever's watching. So the, the intruder, I think might be an old friend, maybe somebody I used to know pretty well. Maybe. I always wonder, because my relationships, both friendship and romantic, um, tend to be like wild and crazy and exciting and fiery at first. Like it's an immediate thing where I just click with somebody. I can't even quite tell how I'm doing, guys. You have to forgive me. I'm looking overly broad. So what am I doing? So um, I've had some like tremendous friendships that have ended on really bad notes. Like, I don't know. I tend to end up with people that are kind of damaged, as am I and who um, are very emotional, as am I, and we get our feelings hurt about something and huff off and block each other. And I hate it, it's so juvenile, because we just don't know, we don't know what to do with each other, I guess. We just get exasperated and huff off, call each other names, had someone who I really loved who, um, having her own issues and I couldn't handle her issues and my own bullshit so uh, we ended up parting ways but not before and I would have loved to have like taken a couple of weeks off from her and then you know just taken up talking again because when she wasn't when she wasn't armpit deep in the troubles that come with addiction. Um, her John's Peanut Gallery, I don't know her real name, but John is her husband. John's Peanut Gallery on YouTube 
pronouncing addiction, like or or, or schmiction or something like that. So is it now is it naughty for us to say certain words on YouTube? I know like like I don't like to even say it because I don't want to trigger people, but I am who I am. I'm a little morbid and fascinated by horrific things. I don't want horrific things to happen, but if they're gonna happen anyway find it interesting um, sometimes so were you were you off yourself I think we're not supposed to say that word or maybe it's just for people who are monetized I really my face is just a blur and to me looking in my camera maybe I should do this <laughs> It really isn't strong enough to do a good job on my makeup. It looks a lot stronger on cam than it really is. Ooh, it's a little theatrical. A little. Uh, but, yeah. Actually, mm, no. I know y'all want to hear some paranormal stuff. Uh, I need to refine my little notes somewhere over here on my bedside table. There's a little piece of paper that's got weird shit written on it. And something spilled on it. And it has all but faded away. So I really need to either remake it while I can still kind of figure it out. <laughs> Watch my double chin disappear. Just make it nice and brown. <laughs> <laughs> I used to worry with all this contouring stuff when I was young and beautiful and didn't know it. <laughs> uh, I made a video earlier, but honestly, I looked so decrepit, I couldn't stand to even watch it back. Started watching it, and it just made me want to cry. So I probably won't be posting it. But I was mainly talking about, I'm using this. Oh, I didn't tell you what blush I was using today. Or bronzer. The bronzer is, again, something I got from Ipsy Bag. Park Avenue Princess. Woohoo. And this is my Madison Miller um, blusher, which I also got from Ipsy. Full size, though, which is pretty neat. But I was, uh, I had my hair up in a bun. A little, like a top knot thing. So I put it up like that when I sleep. Wear it like that a lot, period. And uh, and it gets really loose and wobbly at night. I'll have to come on and demonstrate sometimes. And I take great pleasure in waking up and finding that it's super wobbly and nutty and hair, you know, sticking out everywhere. And I get up and talk to people and I do that and wobble my head and make it flop around. And it reminds me, it cracks me up, partially because it reminds me of an actress named Marjorie Maine, who uh, was just an awesome actress. She was, she did good and uh, did great job in dramas, but she was more well known for her comedic roles, especially as Ma, <clears throat> sorry, Ma Kettle. And, um, Ma and Pa Kettle were very popular for probably 15, 20 years. They were um, the thing, you know, they were the rage. And it all started with a book. I don't remember the authoress's name. I got way too much blush, don't I? When the blind do their own makeup. So she wrote this book called The Egg and I. It was a novel and it was a very humorous novel about a couple who moved from the big city um, to take over, run this egg farm. And uh, they don't know what they're doing, of course. And it's a little bit green acres -y, a little bit, except for the lady wasn't as fancy as Zsa Zsa, but who is? And um, and about them trying to figure out how to be country folks and raise a chicken and do anything, you know, make, just make shit work in general. And uh, they soon met their, I think,
the nearest neighbor, and it ends up to be the Kettles. And oh gosh, where did these happen? I think they were in the Ozarks in Missouri, I do believe. Um, I should have looked that up. You can look all this up on Wikipedia. There'll be a list of their movies and the whole little backstory, names of, you know, actors and whatever. Um, a lot of these films, by the way, are on YouTube. So anyway, the Egg and I, they were the neighbors. They were sort of like hillbilly white trash. They were a, a sweeter 1940s version of the wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. Uh, if you haven't watched that documentary, you might want to check that out. It's a little harder to find these days because I don't think Netflix has it anymore. Not sure, but they didn't last time I looked. So these people, despite the fact that Ma Kettle's uh, uh, knockers hang down to her uh, knees and despite the fact that she's got a face like a bulldog and got this hair that's in this big bun sort of a thing and it's always loose the whole thing is loose mine just gets loose in the one top part but hers is loose all over and she kids Pants! And the whole thing kind of shifts. And it was just funny. So I think of that. And I wanted to encourage everybody to look up the egg and I. I'm not sure if it's on YouTube or not. Um, Claudette Colbert and Fred McMurray were the main characters. Um, and the, the Kettles, the actors, Percy McBride, McBride, I think, was Paul Kettle. They were so awesome. The, the roles were written beautifully but they were they played the role so so well that uh, they kind of took over the movie they took the spotlight and they were so well loved that um, they were given a movie all of their own and then they were given another and then they were given another then they were given another I don't remember how many films they had but despite her being kind of a little on plain side and him being a skinny little guy who despised work didn't like physical exertion of any kind and was loath to work or to fix anything around the house or property uh, somehow or another they had like 15 kids 15 16 children so I guess Pa is a goer, or maybe Ma's a goer. Let's not get into that, though. I'm gonna use um, this Kaleido Cosmetics, Kaleido Cosmetics. Uh, what do we do? Do we shade it? Do we shadow it? I don't know. And it's um, Diamond Foils is the line, I guess, and Sizzle is the color. It's just kind of a frosty grayish purple, lavender sort of a thing. I'm not sure. How am I going to do this? Okay. Uh, so those are funny. Most of them, like I said, are available on YouTube. There are some short little clips that you can watch too if you just want to get a little taste of it just to see what the hell I'm talking about. But their humor, even though it's, it is corny, um, some of those gags just have stood the test of time. And some of them I've never seen amused since, especially concerning the kids. And I think because nowadays it's considered, um, well, I don't know how to say it nicely. It's a bit frowned upon in society to uh, produce more children than there are adults to care for them. But yet it happens. Uh, but the only example I can think of of that many children would be the Duggars. Y'all know how I feel about them. And if you don't, and you're just joining me, hi, I'm Tishy Galore. My mother calls me Alyssa. Sometimes she calls me Tishy Galore. And uh, some days the more makeup I put on, the worse I look. And that's a fact. I forgot what I was talking about. Maybe I need another uh, dab. I think I do. I keep saying that. I'm going to use this blusher. I tried it on for my last Etsy, Ipsy, not Etsy, Ipsy haul. 
and and I never could see it when I put it on as blush, but maybe I can see it as a highlighter color. Oh yeah, yeah, see that works well for for that area. Hmm. I do have rather limited color palette for my eyeshadows. Um, friend of mine who I've kind of fallen out of touch with. We didn't have any kind of you know traumatic friend breakup or anything. We just I was super, super sick, and she was super busy raising her children. Oh, crap. I just put it on the wrong part. Oh, well. I'm just going to wing it. Who's here to know or care? John's gone for the weekend. It's just me and the, the kitty cats and y'all here at the coffee shop in the rain in New York listening to jazz. Having an iced tea out of my self-made Santa Morta Yeti with my silicone straw, and it's a big one because I like to get a lot of liquid in at one time. I don't know why. It's the glutton in me, I suppose. I'm going to put the last eyeshadow on, and then we will have another dab. Feel free to go ahead and fill a bowl or... Do something fancy with a roller, rolling paper. I'm out of flour right now. Sadly, we had some really good though the other day. Uh, green crack. And it was amazing. Or really knew what they were doing. So. And I do like to roll a little joint. I want to get one of those. One of those little glass pipes. And it's got a corkscrew looking thing in the middle. And you, you, I guess, pull that out. And then you pack it with weed. And then you screw it all back in. Light it, smoke it. And then when you're ready to ash, you just ash it out and twist it. And it pushes some more forward. That's what I want. And there's a couple of shops in town that are giving discounts to those of us with medical marijuana cards. 10% discount, but again, thrifty and frugal. It must be the Scottish in me. Because I am, you know. I did do a DNA test. I don't remember if I told you people about that or not. Did a DNA test and turns out I am 100% what my father had always told me I was. He looked at old family names and just said, this is a German name, that's a French name, that's more likely an English name. And, uh, and so he had it pretty white. It ends up, I am, did I say he had it pretty white? He had it right, that I am white. I was hoping there'd be a little something interesting in there, you know, but I'm just going to have to uh, consider it interesting that Celts like myself, <laughs> that I come from a long line of witches and, well, I don't know if my people were, I don't know, but very mysterious place. I have to call him back. Did it hang me up? No, I'm live. Okay. Oh man, the blush. Well, hello, Mimi from Drew Carey Show. I have to call John back any moment. Oh, y'all saw my my slovenliness. Oh, great! It's it's doing this on its own. Another reason to hate this tripod. But tomorrow, this one's going back to Walmart. I'm gonna tell them I can cuss my house tired of them selling me garbage. I guess I shouldn't shop there, but it was uh, the only option I had. There was a, as far as John could find in town, there was only one other, one other option, and it was at Best Buy, and it was really expensive, and I know they can be um, 
difficult to get returns done. My eye makeup does not look particularly good. Um, I'll put on a lot of eyeliner and some mascara. But I probably ought to get off of here. Um, I'll come back, legit, find my little note. Come back when I've got the rest of me finished and looking decent. Go call John and see what that sweet man needs or wants. He's probably just saying good morning. He's at his adult daughter's house with some of his kids. <laughs> He's one that had way more kids than there were adults to take care of them, but that's okay. Um, I don't, bye everybody. I love you, and thanks for joining in. How do I get out of here? I don't, I don't know. There we go. Look at those Samsonites. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Show chat. Live chat. Am I still on? John, yes I am. John called and it like messages started popping up. Okay, I really am gone now. Bye. I'm sorry you had to look at me up close. Oh, look at that messy bedside table. I'm fixing that. You can see the green in my hair still. It is not attractive. Oh. 